sense of reputation okay. is good. Uh, thank you, ma'am. We talk about the payment that you received from Netflix, Mr. Mazala, yesterday. You remember? Yes. He's a me We are coming to the to Netflix. We are coming to the Yes, I do recall. And you said you were not at liberty And you said you were not at liberty to tell this court how much was paid to you. Is that correct? We wash you to an hour, could go to my general and come to look to another back, but I am a little That's correct. How was it paid to you? Then you get a coca cola journey. No cash. In cash? Okay. After receiving that amount, okay, just can I just rephrase that, my lord? Is it correct that uh, the deceased was married to Mandisa? Mandisa. Married. Sorry, my What's the question? Uh, can I just rephrase it, my lord? Was the deceased married? Umufibega Shatili. Bengas Bitu Bega Lobodi. I knew that he paid Lobola. So he had a fiance. Bega no Muntra Salsana. Fiance. Yeah. That's correct. What's the name of his fiance? Lo muntu lo bega shala na ubani. Mandi samkis. Mandi samkis. Okay. Did she have any child with the deceased? Yena lo mandi sabega nenga ni na umufi. Yebo bega na. Correctly so. Okay. How old was the child when the deceased died in this case? Nenga ni yai indalaga gana ni ngiskati ye umufi asho na gulilikala. I'm sure but being an but beside beside man because being a was not sad. Okay. I'm not sure how old he or she was, but it was still an infant because she could not even sit. Okay. When was this money for Netflix paid to you? When? Lema lega Netflix ba kokelo na nini? I think last year. I think it's last year. Did you inform Mandisa? That we have received money after selling the pictures for the deceased. Or after sharing, maybe let me rephrase my lord, after sharing the pictures for the deceased. With Netflix. I did not inform her. I did not see any need of doing that. I will ask you the, the reason. For now, I have not asked the reason. Did you inform Mandisa that we have received money after sharing the deceased pictures with Netflix? I did not tell her. Okay. Did you give Mandisa anything just to look after for the sake of the child that belonged to the deceased? Just to support for Mandisa to support that child. Did you give Mandisa anything? You can't do a niggas who Mandisa, a good as much pregnant with your I go quite No, she's taking care of her own child. But you, after benefiting from the father of that child, did you give any portion to that child, minor child of the deceased, who was your best friend? Uh, I don't think I that uh, I was supposed to do that, but I think that that is Senzo's family that was supposed to have done that, not myself. Did you give the child, did you share money with the child? No, it was my money. Am I correct to say you were best friend with Senzo when he was still alive? And immediately when he was shot, you were no longer a best friend. If you say so, that's your own speculation. I don't see it that way. 
Yeah, then what's your what's your response to what I'm saying? So Opolo Tinugule Nkulume Kamagu you mean? That you were no longer you ceased to be a friend to the deceased immediately after he was shot. You were a friend when he was still alive. Ogutu uye gilugu wa mungani wake umufu ngiskati akata kutujulwa. Bu mungani wake otembe gile ngiskati SAP upaula utini ngano. Leo kwa manga loko. Bengiti nchampe njobeka akazi kale nguti. Uwe abuza ngapindula. If agushu, inzi labona nga uye. Mina ngkulunga agona lwa kushoya. That is a lie. Actually, the way you are putting it, I thought that it's a question maybe... I will answer it, but the way you are putting it, that's your own speculation. Mr. Yes. Matala, if you were to promote any cause that uh, Senzo Melia would have promoted when he was still alive, would that not be in the interest of your best friend? Uzulumbuzi nko samkutu uma kona kubo uma kromu utake uma yena lo mufi gebe ya saa asa pila asa dantla mfana ke loko kromu utu loko kubo uma saa uku kwenze kakuluga so upege uye inzuzo yake lo mwanu wako No nga nga pega nga inzuzo njwa nga nga kazi kuti nga nga kwenza kwa kufi ya maa family members aga meyo nga vila nga sui nga kwenza nje kwa kwa ame My lord I can answer that I was not looking for any benefit or gain. What I did is that the, the family of the deceased approached me, so that I did not do on my own accord. Yeah, no, that you said yesterday. Mm -hmm. But but is Senzo's child not your child as an African? Inga nika Senzo aksinga ni akumasi pega ingele ni to use Africa. Ah, yeah, fun and I. Inga ni am. Yes, it's the same as my child. Yes, and uh, yesterday you told us that you have a number of children that you support. Would, would Senzo's child not fall among those for whom you are responsible? Yes, I have a child who is responsible for you. I have a child who is responsible for you. I have a child who is responsible for you. I have a child who is responsible for you. That's correct. Yes, sorry. But you decided not to give that poor child even a cent from the money that you benefited from Netflix. Go to the testing room so you can learn the only thing in a cent the miyama gule malo oisuzi the way. Yeah, but I'm not going to go for something I'm not even a seeker. Yes, I did not share it with the child. There's no one that I share this money with, even people at my own home. Your behavior is very shocking. The manner in which you behaved yourself after the death of Senzo Meiyu. In the last bit, I think I have a card that I could have asked him for what he had to do. Oh, move for the action. You received the money from Netflix. You did not share with the family for Senzo Meiyu. You did not share it with his child. You did not share it with his fiance. With whom did you share this money for Senzo Meiyu or with? Lale la ugeva kutu ito le mani kama waka Netflix za mwishere no nyenga nika senzo mfazo wake mbagi kate kati uishere no bande mani le ito lega Netflix I think njumundi ino waka senzo wa uza gimi wa mine ya ma family member za heza gimi mazo approach ha uti nyeenze lento obviously na wako niti ya ba bezo ito le so wangeke ba vile beza bezo approach ha wako nangi isa lile kaya hei kini mbanga tuli ni expo jwa ba bengi nenga kanje kola na mtia ba bezo ito le niti the fact that the census family members approached me, begged me to do whatever I did, it means that there was something that they were also going to benefit from this action. Because if there was nothing that they are going to benefit from, they were not even going to beg me. Don't shift the blame. I'm talking about the money that you received. Oh, not what was received by other people. 
Kunga shifti blimba basi kuluma nge mali etole nguwe sikusa wako hai etole nga banya bantu. And shifti blimba because ama picture za wam. Even if big figure no mubane wafu na manga tani na wengen wa kipe kwa za pilonga gini. Ok. I'm not shifting the blame. The pictures are mine. They belong to me. Then if anyone could have come and approached me, I would have refused. So I'm not shifting the blame. The mother of the deceased, did you give her anything, any portion, from oh. this money that you benefited from Netflix? Oh, mama, I'm going to move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Did you? Did you? I'm going to move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Besides, I, I did not actually think about it or it did not cross my mind for me to have done that. And again, how would have I shared these benefits with her if when I greet her, she does not agree, she does not speak to me? Please answer the question. Did you give the deceased mother, did you share Money that you receive from Netflix with the deceased mother, yes or no? And I like about my daughter, Pelombos, and our country, the good in Abbey Mali, when I was the Ghana Netflix, we always share an eye, oh, Mama Gamu, Fiego no Maka. Taza and Ninga Logo, Ta, Ninga Gushan, Tai Futna, I get called my share, and so we are beautiful Lumbu, and as in the It's a no, because even initially I did explain about it that I did not share the money with anyone because that was my money. And you are saying this question is coming back. Mm. And you don't know the reason why I'm repeating this question. And this is also what you the foot lumbuzo was. So yours is to answer the question no matter how many times I ask it. You're going to answer it. Did you share? The money with the deceased mother, yes or no? We are share a money. The way is usually now you mama gamu fi yego no maka. And cousin is share a money. I did not share it with anyone. With the deceased mother? No mama gamu fi. I'm specific now. I did not share the money with anyone. That question you are repeating. He he did he did answer it. It just that he also asked. Ah, that's the reason. Yes, thank you. Yes, let's proceed. Thank you. For us to proceed very well, you just don't have to be arrogant. Just answer the question. Understood? Yesterday we ended up where we were talking about the point wherein you identified the intruder whilst you were under the influence of alcohol. You remember that aspect? Yes, I still remember. Okay. You know, I thought, I thought about this, uh, just that I didn't think about it when you asked. Are you, uh, do you mean here in court or elsewhere? Here in court, my lord, sorry. Meaning yeah. that he was under the influence of liquor here in court? Sorry, my lord, he was under the influence of liquor inside the house when the incident took place. We talked about oh, that yesterday. And, and here in court, he related things he observed whilst, whilst. under, okay. Yes, my lord, thank you. I understand. Thank you, my lord. Did you hear? Oh, sorry. Can Maybe they caught me. Yeah, the, 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 the question is, does he agree that when he came to court, when he sat there and pointed to accused number two as one of the culprits, he was relating his recollection, his mental recollection of things he observed whilst under the influence of it. Uh, 
lokho ukwenza phezu kwemikhumbu lo ukukhumbula lesehlakalo ngendlela sehla kangakhona senza kangakhona kule lakhaya kodwa ngesikhathi esibuphuzile utshwala uyanguzisisa hayi la inkantolo ngesikhathi uphuze utshwala ekhaya yo ya yes thank you madam okay did you check from the butler door of the door which was used by the intruder if there was any mark of the fourth entry uye wacheka lapha ke ibutler door yenyongo longene ngaba labantu abanhlasela ukuthi ingabe ke likhona uphawu noma imark yokubonisa ukungena ngenkani Ankazi ngicheke angisasi ngesikhathi sokucheka ngoma sikwenzeke ngisasi bonkumuntu oyidadaze la ngicheke hamba Okay I did not check because after the incident happened each and every person was just busy and then I did not check Mr Tumelo Madlala yeah. Please answer the question don't give explanation Lala ngosi yami oqolwa kumile ukuthi ukwenze ukuthi uphendule nje kwaphela ke unganikeze ingazelo ungaxhasi Did you check the door also if there was any fourth entry Umnyango no uyo cheka ukuthi ke ngabe zikhona impawu noma uphole bonse ukuthi kungena ngenkani Ah I'm checking No I did not check And do you know the reason why you did not check that Do you know the reason why it did not even ring to your mind to check even at a later stage ngabe yasazi izazi ukuthi kungani ungakuchekanga lapho and then kungani ke lo mcabanga ungafikanga inqondweni ukuthi ekhambeni isikhathi ucheke ukuthi ngabe zikhona impawu zokuthi ukungena ngenkani ngizotsheka kanjalo umuntu mayithubile ukucheka zonke lezinto mawuthubile how could i check if you are scared you were not scared you were not even shocked it's because you were under the influence of liquor you did not know what to do inside the house Bonga kathu kwando ka yangithi kodwa okukhona ke bophuzile I don't think I agree with your proposition um, I'm question. saying that intoxication eliminates fear or being shot No my lord I, I'm suggesting that a reasonable man would have checked the egg, the entry way in the intruder which was used by the intruder to gain entry inside the house after your friend has been shot dead and you have been to hospital when you come back yeah just to check yes my lord if the question if the question is allowed my lord no no i, I think i will allow I, i'm just wondering whether it was his duty as the court business manager yeah, but but i don't think the question is out of order okay let, let us have it can i can can i continue my lord yeah thank yes. you my lord you further said uh, as a court please my lord um, uh, i just want us to qualify uh, what what the witness in fact is saying my learned friend is putting to the witness that he was under the influence of alcohol must keep in mind the witness says he did drink but he was not drunk as he put it he was not under the influence of alcohol if my learned friend continues to put it to the witness that he was under the influence of alcohol uh, i'm just worried that it might be captured incorrectly and the, the witness has maintained that she did take alcohol but that he could still see what was going on he was not drunk it, it sounds like a an issue for argument yes thank you very um, much um, uh, i also don't know why advocate michelle is hammering on that uh, yes. he, he, he did say that he had no more than three cats yes yeah maybe maybe it, it might be a matter for argument uh, it might be a matter around which uh, maybe even some expert knowledge might be necessary but i don't think we are doing we have to we can do it now um, but i i have noted that advocate michel on it uh, in, 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 indeed my lord the fact that someone has had four cans doesn't mean that he was under the influence it depends on a variety of factors 
where the person has had a meal, the weight of that person, it's, it's a contested terrain, my lord. Yeah. Um, we, we, yes. we, we submit that. Uh, but would it, yes. dis would it disqualify the question? Yes, but, but, but just to say you had drinks, not to say you were under the influence. So I was worried the word intoxication was also used. Um, just maybe just to qualify that to say you did partake of uh, some drinks. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure whether you and me understand the same about being under the influence. Yes. It's relative. Yes. You may be slightly under the influence, yes. you may be heavily yes. yes. under the influence, you may drink a stupor. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, the question is put in a manner blunt without going to those uh, to the extent of, of the influence. Yeah, but yes. influence is, I, I would think, from the first gulp, you begin getting under the influence. But uh, is it influence such that will, will uh, hinder your ability to observe? That, that's yeah, another question. Yeah, indeed, my lord. Uh, as long as we s steer clear of you know, the word drunk, you know, or intoxicated, just to say you did have drinks. And we also stay clear of the way you were under the influence. Um, as, as the court says, it's relative, but I, I, I think not to, for the witness to understand the question that's been put to him, um, and we don't want to prescribe to my learned friend, but I think it will only no, be no, fair Mr. to Baloy, say. The, yes. the, the witness was very clear yesterday. Yes. Thank you. The witness said, I had no more than four to ten. Yes. But I wasn't so inebriated that I became unable to observe what is happening around me. Yes. That is said very clear. Indeed. Yes. So, you so um, I, I am unable to say that the question is improper. Yes. Uh, because when whatever he says and whatever she asks, it's in the background of what we said yesterday. Yes, but uh, all I'm saying is that, you know, there shouldn't be a cross purposes. The witness says, I did drink, but I was not drunk. If we proceed along those lines, will not, the state will not have problems with it. There you are. Thank you, my lord. I, uh, I think I should be allowed to use the, the term you were under the influence. That's the legal terminology, my lord. The witness had admitted yesterday that he had consumed cans, so he was under the, under influ the influence. Under the influence, but yes. still able to observe what is happening. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. But he was under the influence, and it's a matter of argument, my lord. That, that's why I keep on saying. Yes, my lord. I don't know why there is a problem with that. With no, no. He's afraid that we may interpret drunk in the sense that the witness drank himself to a stupor. Thank you, my lord. Which, which, which is what the witness denied yesterday. Thank you, my lord. But can I continue, my lord, to use that line? Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, Advocate Valoy, let the word not offend you. It's in the background of what the witness said from yesterday. Yeah, that's a conclusion. Let's proceed. Thank you, my lord. Whilst you are still there, Mr. Mazala, under the influence of liquor, when you came back from the hospital, is it correct that you find the police inside the house? Yes, I will push the boat to get the police to let you out. Mission goes on. Man, we are less busy than that. We are told about police as a second appointment in the palace. Yeah, why second? Yes. Did they do? Did the police do any blood test on you, together with all the other people who were present when the incident took place? who were with you, who were drinking alcohol with you when the shooting incident took place. Did the police take any blood tests from you? No, they did not take any blood. But you see that had the police taken the blood test from all of you, uh, not guys, <laughs> from all of you who were inside the house, this court would have been in a better position to know the amount of alcohol 
that was inside, what, that was in your blood. Is that a question for him? Oh, thank you, my lord. <laughs> really? <laughs> can, can I move on, my lord? Thank you. Let's continue. Blood test was not done. Is there any test that was done from your hand as Dumelo Madala, which is a prime residue, my lord? But I don't want to use that term to the witness. That's why I'm saying, is were there any tests that were done in your in your hands by the police? I think that's the better term for for a lay person to describe the prime residue test, my lord. If I may be assisted in that regard. You, I don't know where the where your concern is. Shouldn't shouldn't you shouldn't we explain to him? Yes. What test for prime residue, residue is, oh, thank you, man. Uh, are, are about. <coughs> thank you, man. Um, Mr. Matala, yes, uh, when an individual wields a firearm and fires, there is, there is, uh, what shall I, what word shall I, there is suit, suit as S-W-O-T, that, that somehow, falls onto the head. Um, then the question by the advocate is whether any tests were done on your hand or your hands to find out whether there is any suit uh, that is attached to your hands. Umbuzo Kamwa Gumedi and Kosem Uti, we are born again, Joe Binkos and Kantori, Ikata Kaza, Uti, Uma Umunta Apetis Palma, Sevens is at the Ulanga, so who call her Okile, Neslum Batisu to go to a Christian side in the local Puma Lapis Palmin, Kuba says Zandin, Zomutu, Petris Palmo Sevens, Awanish, Manjo Muzo got made with Ingabe when I get. I call it test no more color as Zandin, Ogre Gwenziwa, Gu and Jango to Melo Matala, Madame Nadipos and Jangalet. I am glad to be here. It was test. never done on us. And you testified that you only saw the intruder whilst he was inside the house already. Is that correct? That's correct. How come you did not hear him entering the door? Why did you not hear him entering the door? I don't think Umyango was deceived. I don't think that the door was properly closed. You don't think or you were under the influence of liquor to such an extent that you could not see whether the door was closed or not? Once again, the Uma 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 being under the influence to the extent that you didn't see um, what was going on, we submit, my lord, that that is incorrect. Unless if my learned friend has got evidence that she's going to produce to show that this witness was intoxicated to the extent that that um, she she puts to him, we submit, my lord, as we did that. It would be improper to put such a question to the witness based on a fact that, my lord, um, that the defense is not going to prove. Second case. Uh, Advocate Mutolo. My lord. You seem to be pushing this thing of yours uh, inch by inch. <laughs> um, you were loosely using the word drug. Now, the, the question you put, you put seems to suggest that uh, the, you con your contention is that the liquor he imbibed left him in a state where he was unable to, to be aware of what is happening around him. 
Is that the question? Yes, that was my question, my lord. Mr. Matala? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Wait, uh, wait. This, uh, wait, wait for the. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to answer. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Ending is as not as a cool market of which man has one and I'm young of Lega. The situation with young drunk, I'm even doing a good drunk as one of the young. Inside the house, not all of us were drunk. There was also Kelly's mother. So a person who did not consume any, any alcohol, even herself, did not overhear the intruder entering. We don't have that evidence. We are not here to cover anyone, Mr. Tumel. We are not here to cover anyone, to protect anyone. I'm asking you, you, Mr. Them. Tumel Omazala, speak on your behalf only. Even myself, I'm protecting myself. Yes. Yes, I'm protecting myself. Yes, I'm protecting myself. So, I need to prove with the air. In fact, I couldn't do it with it. I said that in response of you saying to me that I did not hear the intruder coming in because I was under the influence. Hence, I said that even the person who was not under the influence could not hear that. How do you know that there is no one who was inside the house who heard? that noise of the intruder when he was coming inside the house. How do you know that? Was Ganja no good to be in a park going to na Abel Kumuntu Oyo Ezra, Yen Alumudon Classic, no more than the Angan and the Was Ganja. Something was Ganja. How do you know that there is no one who had or who knows how the intruder? Who did not he, who, there is no one who heard the noise for the intruder when he was coming inside the house. Was Ganja the good at Gelco and Gin Uyo as I'm sitting in Scatty Unclassy Langan in Because why is the Sumayo pay up there? My comments will be seen the reason. Why is the Sumayo check? Because he or she would have stood up when he or she hears the noise to go and observe what was happening. If he does, he decides not to do that. Uma Tatsun was a good hour going to local. I don't know how do you mean by that. So you must mean by that if you say that maybe he or she decides to take a decision not of doing that. So you must stop speaking on behalf of other people. We are not protecting anyone here, Mr. Tumel. We are telling the cause the truth. Did you hear the noise? Did you hear the noise or you did not hear the noise of the door when the intruder was entering the house? The sound of a door in what way? Maybe there is a misunderstanding. When a person is entering inside the house. Miss Katu Muta Genevi. Who's Oranja? No one seems to be called Magman Genestapi. How can you hear that noise if a person enters by the door? Did you hear any noise or not? Uzurum Sindon, you were no Maka? And who's one you can do this? No, I did not hear any noise. I've already given an answer to that. You did not hear any noise because there is no intruder who entered in that house. Our Zwanga Umsinu would Ageko or Sasselon Geneglin. A man now. That's a man now. Man and Sasa now. That's a blatant lie. If it is true that there was an intruder who entered inside this house, you would have heard the noise of the butter guards and the noise of the door when the intruder was entering the house. Uma ukono mtu began gendan klasa la pinjini benzo za umsindo kama uma patla na mnyangu ngeskata nge la pinjini. Ofuicha agana isho witu kwa 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 Ofuicha you are not sure of the fact that the door was closed or it was not closed? Let's move on, it's for the court. I understand Mr. Tomela you said you've got a great 10. 12. That's your own opinion? Mm. Leave it to the court. Mr. Majala, 
when you were being cross-examined by my learned friend, Mr. Tobani, regarding the duration of the game that you were watching, you were somehow not being able to give the exact time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And the reason for that is because you, you were not paying much attention on the watch because you were enjoying liquor inside the house. You were enjoying yourself. You were drinking. Okay. We did not only drink it inside the house, we were as well eating. But why do you stick to the fact of drinking instead of that one of us eating? All inclusive, Mr. Madala, take it easy. Food was was taken at the time when you were also consuming alcohol. Is that not so? Yes. That's correct. And all that happened when you were watching the soccer. Where? Inside the house. We are talking about the house, Mr. Newman. What happened when we were watching soccer? Eating food and consuming liquor. That's correct. Do you understand that? Are we together? Yeah. We are okay. yes. I do follow. So both eating and drinking took place inside the house where the incident took place. That's correct. And at that time you were watching so. Yes, see that is yes. Well, when we were eating, yes, we were watching soccer. And you, were, you did not take time, take note of the time as to when you started watching soccer and when you finished. You yes, I not Yes, I did not notice the time. Because whilst we were watching soccer, you were consuming alcohol. That is correct. Thank you, Mr. Madala. Very well. Perfect. May I continue, my lord? Thank you. How long, Mr. Madala? I know you have said you cannot be exact about the time, but if you can just give it a try today, how long? Did you arrive from the house, consumed, leak, up until the incident, the shooting incident took place? If you can be able, if you cannot, just tell the court that you cannot, there is no harm in that. So the sister of this, we are this is then Umunga was good looking at Kumbunga Gilling and his axiom put on a man to which I was going to come with Sarah. I have any Zalang Kumbun and Bella and Kumbun. It's kind of just never walked to Leon. Okay. Real, I'll be playing with you. I don't recall the time because I mean, we're just enjoying ourselves there. Okay. But for the entire duration, you were consuming Nick. So, this is the song that is cut. Let's put the I would put some this cut. Maybe put the old and play the old pet to be so opposed after. Not all the time. I mean, you cannot just eat your meals and drink liquor. You first start by eating. Then, when you are done eating your meal, then after that, then you consume your alcohol. Let's get inside the house now. The intruder is inside the house now. I think What was the intrude of oh, before I go there, my lord, can I just rephrase? 
You said you noticed the first person who entered first in the house. Is that correct? Yeah. That's correct. Did that person have any gun? No, I have a petty spam. Yeah, I have a petty spam. Yes. Okay. And the second one? We speed it. Lo sibilanga mbona ngakuthi bephetheni esandleni because namkha usenza nimambi esandleni ngisenza kodwa mbona ngisandleni wayephetheni The second one I did not see what is it that he possessed because Senza had grabbed his upper arm against the wall Okay Can you just describe it I know you have given this description but I don't want to move on with the wrong information can you describe for me the first person you saw who entered the house first? He was having dreadlocks, having a hat on his head or over his head and is wearing a caramel jacket, man foot. Mm -hmm. That is all. How long were those threats? Lama threats le bagama teka ka kana ni? Abenga mati, zika. Abenga mati. The witness is making a demonstration from witness stand, trying to show the length of the threats, saying that they were not that long. Yeah, what do you mean? How Which short were they? They were thinner. Like. Okay. The witness in his demonstration, my lords, saying that the dreads were the length of the dreads were up to the ear level okay. at the bottom of the ear. And what else was he wearing? Forty we you look at that pogide. A jacket, a caramel pan, caramel. A caramel jacket, the yes. colour is caramel. Yes, okay. And also a head. So it means his head was somehow covered because he had the head and he had dreads that was covering his face. Is that correct? No, the entire face was covered. He was just wearing a head and then the dreads on the sides. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. I did not mean that he had a bar club, but the dreads had covered his face on the sides and he had the head as well. So it means his face was not visible clear enough to you because of the head and the dreads. It's difficult to observe a person clearly if he's in possession of a weapon because you cannot anticipate what is it that he was going to do next. Yeah, it was difficult for you to look at this person. Yes. Yes. I think we'll adjourn for tea. Oh my lord, just the one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So in other words, at that particular time when you identified that person, you did not have, have a clear vision of that person. Uh, as I have said that I observed that and that I did not observe him properly because he was pointing the firearm um, towards our direction. So I was scared to have you a did proper not look at him directly. That's what was said. Did you not look at him directly? That's correct. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my lord. We can attend then.